माया का प्रकोप भारी है कलयुग जरूर जारी है माया का प्रकोप भारी है कलयुग जरूर जारी है असभ्य बन गए नेता गुरु असभ्य बन गए नेता गुरु सभ्यता बड़ी बुरी तरह से हारी है असभ्य बन गए नेता गुरु सभ्यता बड़ी बुरी तरह से हारी है माया का प्रकोप भारी है कलयुग जरूर जारी है माया का प्रकोप भारी है कलयुग जरूर जारी है इट्स जस्ट एट अ स्टेज ऑफ लाइफ वे यू आर यू फाइंड सर्टन बिलीफ सिस्टम्स एंड वेज ऑफ बींग एक्सेट्रा आई दर वर्किंग फॉर यू आर नॉट द डिफरेंस एक्चुअली इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दैट यू आस्ट but really for me the the answer is always tangential is that there's two kinds of people in the world there's one group of people that is living in the momentum means they're just going with the flow of life expectation college university whatever right those are the people that are in the momentum and actually if you start looking at us as human beings also you realize we live in momentum we move in momentum we depend on momentum so there are the momentum movers and then there are the moment movers so 99% of the world is living in the momentum 1% of the world is living in the moment and it is these people who are living in the moment that make choices of you know full awareness because this moment is only this moment there is nothing it's happening like like this but it's only this moment if i'm fully aware in this moment and i realize that god this whole thing doesn't work for me man like siddharth who one day just shut off all his stuff mm. it is herman hesse siddharth i don't know about the gautam buddha but you know he, if you're fully aware of yourself then there is no there's no shyness there's no guilt there's no uh it's never preordained or determined in the sense like you're asking that question that if a certain pattern was like this that it'll change it is who you are and in the moment you see a path and you have no fear of the path less traveled you have no fear of what's coming what you left behind you have no attachment like that you just make a choice and you go city of slowing down i think in america our culture is such that it's going 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 and especially um with technology and the bay area and the whole innovation being around so many geniuses and so many new business ideas constantly the and being a business coach and a consultant it, for me it was always like you know management project management Okay, you have a goal, you set up your agenda, and you go after it and tuck 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 tuck. And what I saw with Vivek was he had totally different rhythm and a completely different idea of timing, which frustrated me like crazy. Um 
but I've seen the genius behind it of really the slowing down and tuning into timing and the amount of frustration that I've watched him go through when people just aren't ready. And I've known that, I've seen many times because as someone who pioneers new thought patterns and new technology, and even the companies I've started were always progressing. It was always a bit ahead of its time, so having that kind of patience. Um, but Vivek's timing is, again, very different. It's, okay, maybe in the things I've seen, it's five years ahead of its time. But with Vivek, I, I've seen that he's maybe 20 years or 30 years ahead of his time, and he's also in ancient time. So it's like this very old soul who woke up in modern day, who lives in a totally different frequency, and he's trying to apply this ancient um, ideas of timing and energetics and all of that into a, I mean, it's a corporate world, so...